I think once you start taking responsibility for things like your waste, it opens up opportunity to take responsibility and action on other things. And I think zero waste for me has just been a gateway into that. We send thousands of pounds as individuals of trash to landfills. That trash releases methane. Methane is a powerful warming gas. People think that things just break down and biodegrade in a landfill, and that's not what happens. So reducing your, your waste to landfills really has a positive effect for the climate. Okay, so tell me your story about your mason jar. <laughs> so I realized that I'd been fighting against the oil and gas industry for years, but I had this realization that I was subsidizing them every single day, whether it was buying my, my plastic packaged food or you know my, my utensils in my kitchen or all of my beauty products or all of my cleaning products or all of my clothing, which were all made of plastic. But I realized, you know, is the world that I live in, this like plastic world, the only world that I have to live in? And zero waste was really this journey for me to start to reduce my waste in ways that were approachable and tangible and, and little by little, it was baby steps. So were you surprised when you could fit everything into a mason jar? And what ended up being the, the items that you hadn't figured out how to use zero waste with? So I definitely never expected to, to so quickly be able to reduce my waste. And one of the biggest things that, that I did reduce was was my food waste. Composting is one of the most exciting things that I that I started doing because I could see, you know, all of the food that I was eating, how healthy or not healthy I was eating. So composting was amazing, definitely reduced my waste. And I think why the jar was so interesting because I could see these little problems that you would never think of as like a massive issue. These little plastic things that connect a price tag to a piece of clothing, they're tiny. What, mm -hmm. what harm could they do? But multiplied by the scale of the industry, it's not nothing. And what I love about your mason jar is it's such a good story. It's a, it's something that is so easy to grasp right away. I think the jar is a really easy way to distill down like a complex idea into something simple as a way to say, I'm one person, but I can take steps every day to mitigate climate change. And even though it's a small step, it can have a big impact. I was gonna ask, somebody wants to get like more bang for their buck to go zero waste quickly. Um, what are your top five? I think a really great place to start is just by looking in your trash can and, and seeing what you're throwing away and seeing if you can live without anything. So if you throw away a ton of um, cotton balls and you're like, I can live without cotton balls, maybe there's a better alternative. Or if you're like, I can live without um, you know, a plastic fork and just carry a, a reusable fork, then, then maybe that's a great step for you. And then do one thing at a time, you know, don't throw out everything you have in your house to replace it with zero waste alternatives. Use your, your shampoo up and then find a zero waste alternative. Or try making your own products. It's, it's easy, it's fun, it's a great thing to do with kids. I'm a lazy person. Like, I don't go out of my way to do things. And if I can do this, <laughs> if I can do this, other people can do this. Like, I am not uh, like a superhero. I don't want to work super hard to, to do these things. And, if they weren't easy, if they didn't save money, if they didn't save time, if they didn't make my life less cluttered and my head less cluttered, I wouldn't do them. It seems radical because it's not what everybody's doing right now, but people live this way for, for thousands of years. Um, surely we could, we could do it again. What do you think is happening in the climate movement now that people don't know about? Oh my gosh. Well, I think, I don't know if everyone knows, but you don't have to be an environmentalist to be involved in the climate movement. You just have to start reducing your, your impact or your waste or learning and, and talking about it. So if you didn't know, now you know. Um, we, we can all be involved, lobby, start petitions. Um, find your, your point of entry. What do you care about? And, and how can that align with, with creating a more sustainable future? Again, you don't have to start a business. You don't have to become a politician. Whatever you do, you can find a connection with the environment because it's all connected.